Welcome to Reinforce Concrete Design based on Eurocode 2 video number 13A. We are doing the work example on flange section. Textbook use. Flange section example number 2. Here's the question. We are to create, design a section to resist a moment of 180 kN given FYK steel strength at 500 Newton per millimeter square and FCK at 25 Newton per millimeter square. Calculate the area of reinforcement required. Our first step is to find out how much moment can the flange provide, MF. Moment is the distance times force. We take the force, FCF is the, a, is the force compressive force for the, provided by the concrete at the flange area and Z1 is the level arm at for them. Expanded, we we'll get this. FCT is the red portion is the FCT. Now the red portion is the level arm which we expanded and we get this number. Let me explain the numbers. 25 is the concrete strength. 400 is the flange width. 100 is the flange depth, 350 is the tension steel depth, and we add up, calculate, we get MF equals 170 kilonewton meter, which is less than the moment that we need to resist. This means that by using up all the concrete in the flange section is still not enough, which means that this means that we still have to use some concrete below the flange, flange area. So this is what it means, moment of resistance flange is not unable to resist, we have to use the web section. Okay, we keep the MF, then calculate the remaining stress block, FCW. Okay, we know that the depth of the, remain, the, of the stress block below is SW, which is the overall depth of, of the stress block minus HF. That's what we have left, and we get moment capacity is Total moment that we have to achieve is the combination of moment at the flange and the web. This is the formula. Let's calculate the moment at the web now, which is force FC times the second level arm. Fill up with numbers. What are the numbers? 25 is the concrete strength. 200 is the web width. 250 is the distance from the flange to the tension bar. You might minus 0.5 SW, you get the level arm. And the final answer is that's the most sim simplified answer because we still don't know what is SW. How much more from the flange would, where we need to use the concrete for compression? We keep this number. We take back the total moment capacity. So, so in this formula tells us that the moment to be resisted equals to the moment from the flange plus moment from the web. We add up both. This is what we get. Let me explain again. 180 is a moment that we need to resist. 170 is a moment provided by the flange which we calculated earlier. And this whole term is the moment from the web, which we do not know the full answer because we don't know what is SW. Of course, an at 10 power of negative 6 is the conversion factor. We end up rearranging, we get a quadratic equation with the unknown as SW. Solving this, we get SW equals to 15 millimeters. That means the stress block must extend 15 millimeters below the flange. We'll keep this. Then we use S to calculate X. S happens to be the, com the addition of SW and the flange depth. Put them together, fill it up the numbers, we get the value of X. Okay, let me explain this one. 100 is from the flange depth, 15 is the SW which we find out, and we get X equals to 144 millimeters. What does that mean? We have to ratio them up to find out what happens to the steel. X over D is 144 over 350. 144 is the one we calculated earlier. 350 is the depth of the tension steel. You find the ratio is 0 0.41, lesser than 0 
which means we do not need compression reinforcement. Now let's look at equilibrium. The tension force equals the combination of com compressive forces. Expand this. This we have seen this many times before. Isolate AS, you get the whole bunch of variables on the right. Now new page. Substitute them with numbers. Let me explain the numbers again. Twenty five is the concrete strength. Four hundred is the flange width. One hundred is the flange depth. 200 is the web width, 15 is the extension of stress block beyond the flange depth, 500 is the steel strength. Add up, you get 1402 millimeter square. That is the answer required for this question. Thank you for watching. This is the end of this video.